What would you do if you only had a few hours to visit a historical city like Maastricht in the Netherlands? Here's a word. Welcome to Maastricht, Katrina. My first time here. I mean, I think I might have been here for lunch once. Business doesn't count, not the vlog. Everybody's told us that this is a city we need to visit, so we are here. We're here. We don't have a lot of time because we have things to do and places to be. What are we doing first? First on the list. There is a famous pie. I'm shocked at his food. Called the fly pie, the fly if pie. you will. It is unique to this area of Limburg, and we're gonna go try one of the best places to go get it. On our way to the bakery, we just kind of got stopped in our tracks by this beautiful bread in the window. By here. this other bakery. <laughs> this other bakery. I'm not. That's not shocking, right? I see a bakery and I'm like, <gasps> Pavlov's dog. I start drooling. I'm like, we have to go in, but we're gonna continue on. The Vly is acquired. We have the Vly. Vly pie. It's pie. This is pie. It can, it translates to flan though. When I translate Vly, it's so it's kind of like bad a, translation. Well, I don't know. I mean, this other one, the second one that we got, is like a pudding filling that's kind of more flan. -ish. Still a pie. It's still a pie. Yes, fine. This is unique to this area of Limburg. Katrina was telling me that there are authorities who will come and get you and arrest you and throw you in pie Vly jail if you make this pie and you're not in Limburg you get in trouble. You can make it, it just can't be called the Limburg fly. fly. Yeah, so it's kind of like champagne. It has to be sparkling wine if it's not from the champagne region. And that, that actually just happened this year in 2024, beginning we'll, of the year. Well, go Limburg. So, good for them. All right, so we got two pieces of fly. This one is a cherry apple, crisscross topping, looks fantastic, sugar baked on top, love it. And this is the special one. They only make this one on the weekend. It's like a pudding filled with a crumble on top, which I love a good crumble, so I'm all about this one. Pretty happy about this. All right, so let's, let's try our Vly, Katrina. They're thinner than a normal pie, I think, that I'm used to in America. Like, it's a little bit thicker, but these are like a larger pie pan that they bake them in, and it's thinner. Still has a crust, still has a filling. They make a couple of different versions, and these are the two good shows. It's great. I like fruit pie. I think the older I get, the more I like fruit pie. When I was younger, it wasn't really my thing, but now like cobbler's pies, I'm for this. I like cherries a lot. These are very tart, sour cherries. They're good. They have this all over Maastricht, but we went to this particular location because they have a water mill in the back and it's been around since the 11th century. That's really old. Yeah, it's really old. The water mill's cool because the water smells terrible. If you watch any other YouTube video on Maastricht, so once you're done watching this amazing video and you'll get shown other Maastricht videos, they probably will eat the same thing, very likely. It's definitely a thing you have to have when you come to Maastricht. I like this one because I love pudding. Into I'm a not pie. a huge, no, I'm not a huge pie fan, but I like pie crust. And then you add a crumble on it, like those crumbles are like super airy and like, that I would definitely get again. It is like a pie crust though. Well, I mean, what I we, what to expect. Americans are like, we eat Dutch apple pie, yeah. which is literally Dutch pie. You know, some things made it over the ocean. Excellent. But I'd like mine back. Bishop please. Mullen, do it. Did you guys know that Maastricht is actually the oldest city in all of the Netherlands? And behind me is the oldest city gate or city wall in the entire country. And it's right here in Maastricht. All right, we're not gonna go up in the tower, the gate. We have things to do in no time. They don't take museum carts. Change of plans. But we're walking through it. We're exiting the city. The Helgi, why are they called the Helgi? 
Uh, I Aggressive. Mean, this is I beautiful. Mean, if hell looked like this, I'd, no, this is I'd beautiful. Be fine with that. This is gorgeous. Look it at this. It's a very beautiful city. I'm digging Maastricht. Yeah. And it's springtime, so things are starting to bloom. It's and, happening. Yeah, slowly. Uh, we left the city, so we need to go back through the gate, get back to the city, <laughs> or this vlog is over. We're walking back. To the hellport. Through the hellport, being teleported back to hell, away from hell, into hell. I don't understand. Help us. Tell us. Experts. Help us. Uh, no. <laughs> One thing that you can guarantee yourself if you come to visit an old European city, most of them are old, there's going to be an old church that you should go look at. This is the Basilica of Our Lady. How old is this church? At this site, there was a church built here back in like the 5th century, but that wars, all kinds of things got knocked down. This church that's currently here, most of it was built back in the 11th and 12th century. That's very so old. So still very old. Sensing a theme here in Maastricht? It's old. 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 Windy. This is my kind of church. Cause now it's a bookstore. Let's go check it out. This is one of the more unique places I think we've ever been. This is the Bokhandel Dominicanen. This church is from the 13th century. It's only since about the early 2000s that it actually turned into a bookstore. But this place is pretty cool. I mean, you can buy books, they have records, they have CDs. Nobody buys CDs. Some of them might buy CDs. I mean, vintage nah. is coming back, right? If records came back, I mean, CDs are like right behind it, right? Wait, why, why the hate on the CDs? Like a mixed CD? Did you ever like make your girlfriend a mixed CD? I'll make you a mixed CD. This also was awarded the title of most beautiful bookstore in the world. Back again in the early 2000s, but I think it still holds up. So it's Easter weekend and uh, yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. There still are these amazing paintings actually on the ceiling of this building. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is one of the coolest, you know, kind of touristy attractions I've been to in a long time. Books are great, read books. All right, a couple of things. Too many smokers. We're trying to find a fry shop that was recommended to us by a viewer of the vlog, and it's this general direction. Apparently there's always a line, and I think Nate's hoping to get yelled at using his camera no. again. He literally said to me, go to Hollywood if you want to film a movie. The man that worked here. Yeah, go to Hollywood if you want to make a movie, yeah? Nope, nope. So hopefully, oh wow. There's a market, we just found a market. Square just came alive. This is us waiting in line for french fries. When it comes as a recommendation, we must judge for ourselves. We will continue to wait in line for french fries. We got the french fries from, I think I'm saying it right, Wrights? Wrights? That came highly recommended. They look very good, very fresh. The gentleman who gave us our fries was extremely friendly. Highly, highly recommend just for the customer service here. Talking to you, another fry shop in Amsterdam. And I have high hopes for these. We're also very hungry, <laughs> sugar crashing, so. They're good french fries. They are good. In the Netherlands. They're crispy. Frites. Frites, patats, french fries. 
Dutch fries, whatever you want to call it. I still, the mass of ketchup on the top. You guys, like someone out there come up with a little like hanging ketchup thing off the side so that I can just like boop, dip. Other than that. You can't always get what you want. These are very good. Thank you for the recommendation and keep them coming. stumbled upon Maastricht's City Hall, the building behind me. Very beautiful building back from the mid-1600s. And it's also located on the big square where that little thrift market is happening today. Little gems all around the city. actually the second cafe that also has a bicycle shop in it that we've been to. First one was back in Utrecht. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. And so we figured let's just continue with the theme. And we got two mochas and of course a Swedish, Swedish cinnamon bun. It's hard to say. So it's kind of fitting. You know, we like to find artwork in like different places that we go to and alley cat coffee and bikes. Bought some cat artwork. And now that I look at it, it's kind of actually creepy, and it's titled Lucifer, so happy Easter. Dutch viewers, you're with me, right? It is not Oli Boland season. These should not be in bloom right now. What is happening in Maastricht? For one of our final stops, we are going to head to the Museum on Het Vrijthof. My apologies. This is a photography museum where every six months they change exhibitions. Right now, the exhibition is by a photographer named Allison Jackson, and she is known for her somewhat controversial images depicting celebrities in somewhat compromising positions, if you will. It's to imitate like paparazzi photos, but they're not the actual celebrities. She hires actors and actresses that look like these people and then people get a little upset about it when the queen is portrayed in a certain light. So that sounds like fun. Let's go check it out. And also, our handy dandy Dutch museum card gets us in for free. Katrina is enjoying this because there's naked people in many of these photographs. You literally just said you like that. No, I said I like controversy. Uh, whatever. Just after the first couple of photos in here, I understand why people might have issues with this. This goes with our vlog though, right? We're sarcastic about everything. Like if you approach this with a sense of humor, I think you'd really enjoy this exhibition and- The camera lies. The camera does The camera lie. lies. Allison wants us to take a picture of this. I'll do even better. I'll put it on the vlog. Moving pictures. supposed to like evoke feelings and that's I don't know how I feel about that. I, it's evoking some feelings. I mean yeah look at his eyes like I, oh, I'm gonna have nightmares about that. I think the Queen would have appreciated this if she was still with us. Queen with her corgis. I don't know if she saw this before she passed away. Hope she did because I bet she'd like it. Camilla, probably not so much. All right, with the stars of Europe behind us, check that out. That's pretty cool. Do you know why? I do know why. <laughs> do you know why? Yes. Maastricht is the birthplace of the European Union. They signed the treaty here, the Maastricht Treaty, which paved the way to the European Union forming. Go EU, pro EU, pro EU, pro EU You don't, want, EU you don't want another Brexit happening? No, no Nexit, none of that nonsense. We gotta go. I, I like Maastricht. Maastricht's I wanna, awesome. I wanna come back. Let's come back to Maastricht. Like in the summertime. You should go to Maastricht. Go to Maastricht or tell us what we missed. What do we need to do next time we come here? Because I have a feeling we'll be back to this city. I Loved agree. it, highly recommend. Thanks for watching.